Hey guys, it's Leia. Today we'll learn about using the power rule with integration. Here we have the power rule. It states the integral of x to the power of a with respect to x is equal to 1 over the exponent plus 1 times x to the exponent plus 1 plus c, where a does not equal negative 1. a can't equal negative 1 because then we would have to use a natural log rule, which we'll get to a little later. We can check that this rule is true by taking the derivative of the antiderivative, which equals the integrand. Let's see an example. We have the integral of x to the fifth with respect to x. We keep in mind the product rule. So this equals 1 over 5 plus 1 times x to the 5 plus 1 plus c. We'll simplify this to 1 6 times x to the 6 plus c. Now let's check if our answer is right. We'll take the derivative of our antiderivative and we'll get the integrand. Next example, we have the integral of x to the 2 thirds with respect to x. Again, we keep in mind the power rule. So we get 1 over the exponent plus 1 times x to the exponent plus 1 plus c. We can change 1 to 3 over 3 to make adding the fractions easier. We'll simplify this and we'll get 3 fifths times x to the 5 thirds plus c. Now let's check the answer. We'll take the derivative of the antiderivative and we'll get the integrand. Alright, last example. We have the integral of x to the negative 3. This equals 1 over negative 3 plus 1, which is the exponent plus 1, times x to the negative 3 plus 1 plus c. We simplify this and we get negative 1 half times x to the negative 2 plus c. Now let's check the answer. We'll take the derivative of the antiderivative and we'll get the integrand, which means this is right. Solving integrals require a lot of practice to get the hang of it. So for more help, visit www.symbolab.com and click on the practice tab.